Hey guys, what's up, Megan here. Quick video about uh, my locks. Finally, I get a lot of these questions. You know, what does my hair represent? Why did I decide to grow my locks? By the way, I'm late for work. I gotta hurry up. See, I'm trying to eat my protein and shit. Just finished doing my morning sprints. Uh, made um made a few videos. I'm gonna work on them later on. But anyway, I'm on my way to work, so I gotta hurry up. All right, my locks. Pretty much my uh, my hair represents my failures. It represents the darkness inside of me you know i make I, I mentioned that in one of my other videos about how we all have darknesses you know we all have some kind of darkness in us there's just a lot of people try to stay away from the darkness because they're afraid of what they might see but i believe that the only way you can really know yourself is when you've seen both your light both the extent of your light and the extent of your darkness so in a way you have to embrace your darkness i, I know it sounds lame and corny but you know it's my philosophy you have to embrace your darkness you have to know yourself don't be afraid to know what lies within you that's only it's, it's only when you know your 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 true self that you will know your true strengths and your true weaknesses only when you know your true strengths you'll be able to help people only when you know your true weaknesses you'll be able to to uh to aspire to become better and um look for other sources of strength so in in a, in a way you'll always grow as long as you know your weaknesses and your, your you know your darkness so at one point in my life when I, I was really depressed, you know, my best, well, not really my best friend, but a close friend of mine had passed away, EJ, we used to play basketball for years, when I, even when I wasn't speaking English, he told me a lot about American culture, about basketball, things like that, and he passed away, so it was a big change in my life, because I was like, whoa, what the fuck do I do now, like, I actually play basketball with this guy like every day, and now he's gone, and, and it's time to go to college, like I said, I started college really early, 16, so I was really young, I was really, uh, at, you know, pushed too far into into um into society I, I, was, I was pushed too quick you know i had to learn english uh too fast you know i had to adapt too fast i was always confused and i didn't grow up with my father you know um you know close to me so it was really tough plus my big brothers were also away from me it was only me and my two sisters so it was hard for me to find that 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 sense of belonging that that ground so i turned to obviously religion you know i was a big 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 religious uh person for a long time and that's when I really, uh, I learned most of my, my wisdom from the Bible, really. That's when I really, uh, the Bible didn't show me how good I was or how good I could be. It showed me how bad humans were. And when I saw how bad humans were, I saw, I began to see how good God or whatever you want to call him was. And I began to seek him. And the more I, I saw him, the more I failed. The more I realized how, how, how much I, I would fall short. The more I realized how much I, I, I was I was a dog being, you know. The more I tried to please him, the more I would fuck up. And um, I got to a point where I just gave up, man. I just gave up trying to be, you know, I can't be a hypocrite, you know. The reason why I, I, I'm not into the religious crowd is because I can't be a hypocrite, you know. They go around judging people, not all of them, but they go around judging people, but then, you know, at, you know, deep inside they know that they have the same lusts and they do some of the same things that they accuse people of doing. So I got away from all that. I, I, I'm still, you know, a spiritual person, just not religious, you know. I believe in God, just not, you know, like religious people do. Um, but, uh, I gave up on everything. I started having sex like crazy. I started doing whatever the fuck I wanted to do. I said, you know what? Fuck it. You know, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, uh, I'm gonna go balls deep into my darkness. I'm just gonna see how far I go without really self-destructing. Um, in fact, I was looking forward to my self-destruction. I just kept, you know, I was, I was just depressed. And um, in the midst of that, I began to grow my hair. I said, you know what? When you, when you get to a point when you give up on life, right? And I also lost uh, on one of my girlfriends. Uh, I had a lot of exes, but one of them was really special in my life. Uh, when I was in Alabama, she really meant a lot to me for some reason. I said I hate her at first, but you know later on I began to love her. And when I began to love her, uh, she be, she began to to push away. Cause when you in love, when you in love, you're gonna do dumb things. You know, and I was doing a lot of crazy things, and I was not really the most faithful guy. So when I lost her, I was like, oh, it's game over now. You know, like my life was really fucked. And I began to plunge deeper and deeper into darkness, and that's when I began to grow my hair. I was like, you know, fuck it. What's the point of trying to, you know, you know, I don't know buy Jordans anymore, trying to look fly, trying to, I was really not that type of person, but I really gave up on the little things that I used to hold on to, and I began to grow my hair, you know, so like, fuck it, in fact, I wasn't even really twisting, I just grew that bitch, I didn't give a fuck, I was crazy as fuck, and in the midst of that darkness, I, I learned a lesson, I learned that the, the, I realized that the dark, the deeper I was in darkness, the more I was able to see the light, the more dark I was, the more I was able to see light. It makes sense, you know, if you're in a, in, a, in, a, in a room that is all lighted up, full of lights, it's hard for you to see a candle. It's hard for you to see the source of light that you're really looking for. But the deeper you are in darkness, the easier it is to see the light. And I'm not telling people to go out there and be, be evil and shit, because, you know, when I say darkness, I don't mean, like, killing, stealing from people. I wasn't doing any of that stuff. I'm, please, 
you know, I'm I'm pussy as fuck, you know, I'm not gonna go rob a bank, I'm not trying to get locked up and shit. Um, but I was doing bad things. And and the deeper I was in that darkness, the more I was able to see the light, the mercy of God, things like that. And uh, I rejected it because I was like, man, I don't deserve it. I don't deserve this shit, right? So I would, I, would, I would run away deeper into the darkness. And the deeper I would go into the darkness, the clearer the light, be, you know, became. You know, the light at the end of the tunnel, whatever you want to call it. So I, I, I developed this relationship of being in the darkness, being myself, because I'm naturally a dark person, uh, not just physically. But at the same time, always seeking that light so i'm being pulled by pulled back by my personality by my my dark nature but at the same time i'm fighting against gravity to always pursue uh the light you know which is the ultimate goal even though i know i probably will never reach it um and as my hair grows my hair document my the deeper i'm i go into darkness you know the longer my hair grows it's just a, a measure of time and they also show my failures because my, my failures are my darkness you know all the mistakes i made i'm not a perfect being i'm far from perfect so the the longer the more time goes by, the longer my hair grows. The longer my hair grows, the more mistakes I make, the more failures I make, and ultimately the clearer I see the light. So it's kind of like so. Pretty much my locks represent my darkness, my failures, and uh, my journey. You know, to always strive for perfection. You know, going against the pull of gravity, the, the, the gravitational pull of my dark nature. So I don't know if you you know that I could get I can get the message to you in just one video you know it's like a long it's so many details but I can't explain it I'm late for work gotta finish this protein and uh, I'll probably make a part two if I can uh, I'm sweating like a motherfucker but AC is not working it's hot guys so we gotta go but yeah that's what my life represents my failures my darkness and the more they grow the darker I become but yet the clearer I see the light all right guys. Bro.